guys, welcome to my channel. I'm Jess. Uh, sorry, my bench is super messy, but I just thought I'd show you guys my pom pom and like charm collection today. Um, firstly, um, I guess uh, I could show you this one. This one is from Louis Vuitton. I got it off eBay. Um, I always contemplate selling it just because I'm not super happy with the condition of it. It's like a. Um, it's very tarnished but I did use metal cleaner to clean it up and I don't know I, I mean it, it looks cute from afar but if you look up close there's a lot of like the the gold has faded quite a lot um, but I do really didn't want to pay like six oh, I don't know seven hundred dollars for this because it is a charm I mean that you could buy, almost buy a bag for that much so um, but I do love it it is really cute not for free from um, ordering from Lindy SS. Um, she makes her pom-pom charms. Um, well, she was doing this promotion and she threw in like a free Camellia Love bracelet and sometimes I use like a little clip to to um, put this on my bags too. Even though it's a bracelet, it looks really cute on bags as well. So I really love that Lindy SS one and it was really nice she put it in for free but I feel like I want to buy more now. Um, because she does make actual ones that clip onto bags as well. I bought this off eBay in an auction. This is a Loewe strawberry coin pouch. Now, I, I sometimes use this on more of my like denim tote bags or just more super casual styles. Nothing. I, I don't actually have a Loewe bag, so um, I just tend to put this on more of my plain bags just as a, something to like jazz it up a little bit. Um, but it's more of a charm even though it's a coin purse. I don't use it as a coin purse, but um have contemplated selling this too Just because I I, I think it's a really expensive bag charm to be honest This is a Furla bag charm that I bought in an outlet get retailed for about hundred and fifty Australian dollars But I bought it for 30 um, and the quality of these is really nice. They're very dense um, and the It doesn't really fl fluff out or like, you know, it doesn't um, the fluff doesn't come out of it or anything. It doesn't shed is what I'm trying to say um, And the black goes with a lot of my bags just because it's just a basic color This is a really cute Lindy SS charm This one came I ordered it with this other massive pom-pom attached to it um, But I found that when I had this on a bag with the massive pom-pom it would always flip around to this side and like be hidden behind the pom-pom. I don't know why. I don't know if it's the bags that I was using it with But it would always flip behind and I would never be able to see this so I detached that pom-pom from it And I just use this by itself now and I put that other pom-pom on a separate keychain and I, I just use them separately so um Yeah, I don't know. I just find that with her crystal stuff um in that particular design I got the extra large pom-pom and it didn't really fall properly um on like I was putting it on my cherry speedy and stuff and it never it was flipped around the wrong way So I don't know what was with that, but I, I do love using this especially on like my Alma BB and her hardware is really nice compared to um Other brands. I find her hardware super feels like super high quality and uh, yeah, I love the little crystals So that's a beautiful piece um, This is oh, this is probably my favorite one. This is from Lindy SS as well um, This is like a unicorn pastel one I kind of wish it had more blue in it, so I kind of, this is really bad, I kind of want to order the extra large size one. This is the medium one, and I want to kind of ask if I can request one with a little bit more of the blue colorway, because I just find, I have a lot of pink pom-poms, and I was kind of, I feel like this is predominantly pink here, but I really enjoy this, this blue section, so it's really nice, though. it looks really good on my pastel Neo Noe. Um, so that's another one there. Oh, and I just store them all in this like PVC bucket bag from Stored. Um, just because it looks cute in my room and I can just kind of grab and reach for them. I have a lot of pom-poms and I and I just like feel like you can never have enough. So, <laughs> yeah. I'll put that here. This is really cheap. Um, I got this from Spotlight. Oh, well, the Spotlight, yes. And then I added this little gold loop to it so I could attach it to bags. It's leopard print, so I thought it was pretty funky. Kind of looks good with Louis Vuitton handbags. They always kind of use leopard print, I find, sometimes in their bandos, and so it kind of just matches. 
Oh, this is the massive white pom-pom. I love this pom-pom. This is so awesome. It actually came with this one. Um, so it used to look like that, but I detached them both just because I found that, um, yeah, it wasn't working out for me. Um, but I bought this clasp on eBay. It's also the 24, or well, apparently it said it's 24 karat gold hardware. So it's not as nice as Lindy's one, but it does the job. And I, I do love this pom-pom. So I love her giant pom-poms. I would love to get more, but uh, I might have to save some money because I've been going crazy lately, guys. Absolutely lost my mind. So, um... Oh, this is adorable. I got this at, like, a gift shop, and it was, like, $30 reduced to, like, $5. But the quality of it is actually so good. Like, it feels, like, almost as good as the Furla one. Um, and the colour is adorable. It's, like, a minty green. Um, it's kind of small. Like, if you compare it to Lindy's one, this is her extra large giant one, um, and then this is that size. This one in particular is very like spiky. I feel like it has all this random like fluff coming out of it but I, I like it. It's just like a different texture whereas this is just all kind of quite even and compared to Lindy's this is Lindy's um like medium-sized pom-pom and, and this one is still a little bit smaller um so yeah but Lindy's ones I find are very fluffy um and this one yeah this one's really good too though, so yeah, I mean, different price points. Uh, I like how with Lindy's one she adds the little crystals and just a little bit more detail, like this little heart thing, and she makes them look really princessy, which I, I like. So the aesthetic just gets me, I think, in the packaging. Just her, her branding is on point. So uh, here's another crap one from Spotlight. I just really liked this blue, and I, and I really wanted a blue pom-pom. I really like uh, the Lindy SS one. Um, I think that one's discontinued with like, it has like a heart, but yeah, I got this blue one. The quality is not amazing, but it does add something, something to my handbag if I just put it on there. Um, here's another Furla one. Love this red one. Again, I got this in Outlet. It's, the Furla ones are really great quality, like, yeah, and this red looks really great on my Speedy with the cherries on it. I mainly just wear it with that bag. Oh, this one. Now, this is another Lindy SS one. Oh, this pink is so cute. Like, this pink with the white heart and the crystal. Oh, this has got to be one of my favourites. Like, I don't know, something about this pom-pom. It just, it just makes everything look cuter. Like, I can't explain why. It was not cheap, but it it's honestly just adds cuteness level times 100 to any bag. Um... And yeah, I love it. I love this pom-pom. This actually, maybe this is my favourite pom-pom. I changed my mind. This one is super cute. Um, okay. Oh, here's another fill. Yeah, see? This fill one cost me, like, I think $60. I got this one in the store. It's similar kind of colours to my Lindy SS one. That's why I was kind of, like, bummed out when I got this a little bit. Not too bad. I mean, I love it, but I... I I really wanted more of the rainbow happening, whereas it kind of just, half of it was like the colour I already had, so, but, I mean, yeah, it's just, they're different enough for me, <laughs> anyway, um, but, yeah, this one is quite dense, it's quite, I don't know, it gets a bit, a bit dirty under here, actually, it gets really dusty, I don't know, but this one is, it feels a bit of a different texture, can't explain it. This is another Furla one, yellow, super cute, kind of looks like um, Big Bird from Sesame Street, love it. Um, this one is really fun, I wear this mainly on like my Palm Springs Mini. Uh, here's another crap one, got this from Spotlight. Um, obviously this has a lot of pastel rainbow. The texture is not nice, like it's not, feels cheap, like, see, like this... Can you see that? Like, it's just coming out, like, all this fluff. Um, this cost me $5, so that's what you get sometimes, but I loved the colour scheme. Um, yeah, so that's why I bought that. Sometimes if something is cheap, you don't have to buy it, guys. Like, for me, if I, I don't know, maybe I shouldn't have bought that. Even though it was only $5, like, was it necessary? I don't know. Maybe. <laughs> um, this was also $5 from Spotlight. This is, this is actually cuter because it's softer. It doesn't... It doesn't shed as much as um, this $5 one. This one just kind of looks cheap, but 
This one kind of looks a bit more cute. It's also got the rainbow, but it's less pastel. It's more just like a, I don't know, just like a 90s vibe it gives me. Uh, so that's that one. What's this? Oh, this is, I bought this at the same time as I bought this one. So these came from the same like gift shop and they were on sale. They were really good. I, maybe I should have bought more. I don't know. <laughs> but yeah, this is a grey one. Also really nice and neutral, just like the black one. And this was another cheapo one. I got this for $5. It's just, it's a really cute baby blue. Yeah, looks cute on little mini bags. And this charm is Louis Vuitton. This is another Louis Vuitton purchase, which I don't know if I really needed, but um, it was from a Christmas collection, and it's Vivian and a hot air balloon. Um, and on the back, it's got the Louis Vuitton monogram. Um, I really just wear this on my Owl BB. It doesn't super go on any other bags. I, I put it on my Palm Springs Mini, but I feel like my Palm Springs Mini just looks better with a pom-pom, which is silly to say, but it's true. Like, this kind of... These certain charms to me only look good on certain bags, and for me, I've found it's just my Alma BB, so probably just add it here. I think, you know, just cuteness level times 100. But then, if you put on okay, maybe if you don't need this many charms, but like, look how good this looks on my Alma BB. Like, I can't deal. Like, that pom pom is just so cute. Like, can you see that? Like, Anyway, but I would probably wear one or the other on this bag, like this or this. But yeah, you don't have to spend Louis Vuitton money on a charm. I honestly think you could just get like a Lindy's one, which is, is they're still kind of expensive. But really, even if you just got like this one was, you know, $10, I think. Uh, it was literally, it was 30 and I got it for like, I remember it was super cheap, 5 or $10. And that looks cute too, right? So, like, you don't have to... I mean, you don't even have to use bag charms, to be honest. But I, I just am a fan of it. Um, I also use, like, twillies and bandos sometimes to, like, personalise my bags. Um, oh, and this one is a Takashi Mur Murakami um, little bag charm pin thing, which I like to put on this bag. I thought I'd just mention that one as well. Anyway, uh, thanks for watching my video. Um, and like and subscribe. And I'll see you next time. Bye.